Beloved countrymen, so I am with the press. So what would be the most uh, maybe relevant or pertinent to talk about? Naturally, it would be about press freedom. Uh, press freedom, ang antithesis known is censorship or outright banning. Just like in the dictatorial countries, autocracy, uh, wala yan. It's anatima yung press freedom. In the Philippines, you have a freedom that is, uh, you can print what you want, label anybody what uh, you would like to do, and uh, slander if you want, because nobody would take you to action, because it would just be a waste of time in court. Always sa gobyerno sinasabi sa amin na the bomb, the bomb of clear conscience would erase everything. Though it does not really uh, apply to its truest form, kasi kaming mga binabanatan, may mga anak kami. Ako, okay lang sa akin. I might call, call me shit or, or, or an asshole. But ang walang ano yan, ang, ang inyo, kung baliktarin na rin ang inyong mga anak, ang medyo nasa sakban. That's the only problem about uh, natitingin ko. Because as uh, president and all others in public office are public properties. So wala tayong ano niya. Uh, you have to bear it, but uh, there is that fiction that you are elected as president, mayor, governor. But in the end, at the end of the day, it does not really... Nilululog mo yan at uh, your only reward is uh, that you have served your country. And in the estimation of everyone, if you have served well, at least those who know you, eh, maganda. Pero hanggang dyan lang. Now, <clears throat> itong sinasabi ni I am inviting everyone who wants to know about the extrajudicial killing issue. Ang akin lang, extrajudicial issue is directed at government. It is not directed against an NGO. It is not directed against a civilian. Always, yung issue ng extrajudicial killing is always addressed to the government to take care that the government does not abuse and kill, main or silence the press. Yan, yan. Ngayon dito sa atin, walang nagpipigil. The reason why even if you know that a certain publication that would issue tomorrow will be full of lies and libel and scandal and you know, whatever, you cannot prevent its printing. That is censorship. So that is free, uh, freedom of the press. If I am a commentator, and I go to my station with a prepared of personal and political attacks, official, hindi mo mapigilan ang tao. And they always say, there are laws of libel and slander where you can seek refuge, where you can take uh, some measures of redemption. But in truth, wala talaga yan because... Uh, even to just file a case and to set it for preliminary hearing and then you go back and forth and then it goes to the court and because of the backlogs of thousands of cases, you might be able to have the first hearing this year and the next year the next hearing. So what would be the point? The point is, sabihin mo na lang, well, if that is the, your truth, fine, believe it. Now, I take issue on the sabi kasi ni Delilah. 
na censorship yung conditions pinag-i-impose ko. Look at is, uh, what it is. A rapporteur, EU, NATO, oh, <laughs> ano pa dyan, US, UN, they come here. So they go to the human rights. Then they start to read what is there, the dossier and everything. Alam mo, rightly or wrongly, it started with politics. Because I have always been a hardliner when it comes to the penal laws. Alam mo kasi, just like what is up, what happened or what is happening, I hope there's a change of heart. Ang tao sa Pilipinas, hindi na talaga naniniwala ng balak batas. Because the fear is not there. And that is why I said, give me back the death penalty. Sabi naman ito, mga bleeding hearts and the priest and all, eh mayroong death penalty noon, wala man rin. Wala nangyari. As a matter of fact, we never executed except it's a ragay. And that's about it. Eh kasi wala. Then I can simply say, hindi tumal tumalab yung death penalty noon kasi hindi inimpose. Every president along the way would just say, one, because of the Catholic Church. Second, the bleeding hearts, because only God can kill. Ang problema niya na ask you, what if there is no God? So we allow the criminals. And yet because there is a God, in all karamihan sa atin dito, ay ngayon kung walang Diyos. And we are here in this earth, in this planet, supposedly made by God. So where is thou God? When a one-year-old, 18-month-year-old baby taken from the mother's arms, brought under Egypt and raped and killed. So where is God? And in Syria, women, women and children, and women who do not have want to sex, uh, sex with uh, the ISIS, they're burned. So where is God? My God, where are you? I believe in God, but that is my perpetual question to him. Where were you when we needed you? It, it is not enough to say at the end of the day, at the, at the end of the world, he shall come to judge the living and the dead. What will be the purpose of all of that? If the heart sorrows and langone have already been inflicted upon the human beings in this world. Yan ang mahirap. Pinaghalo mo yung morality ng, well, all tapos. Kagaya ba ng loto? Itong loto, hidalo nila sa wedding. So, 20% of the day's income, ilaglag nila, yun lang ang kita ng gobyerno. The other is, ganoon rin dito. Ipinaghalo natin yung morality. And do you know that not all people believe in God? The agnostics, the atheists, It's not, it's, it's not easy to say, well, he's only one or two or three. Mind you, at, at, at this age now, maraming questioning about it. For the simple reason, we are taught. Ako, puro pare ang kaharap ko eh. Para pare, all the way, grade one to mga dyan sa Minjola. We're always taught na ganon ang, ang buhay. That, that everything... Uh, begins and ends with God. So therefore, God knew at that time when he created this planet, that these things will happen. So my God, why did you do it? Yang censorship sinabi ni Dilima. What I'm asking is this. I will submit to all forums 
in this planet. But she cannot come here and just read the garbage prepared by my political opponent noon. Ayaw ko na lang bastusin kasi nag, I mean, he extended the sand in friendship again. Ako naman, pag naglaman noon na, itong lalaki ka, okay na. It's either you just kill him right away or you forgive him. If you do not have the balls to kill him in front of everybody, you shake hands with him. Ngayon, kanya yat yun. Lahat ng, of course, there were extrajudicial killing. But extra in the sense that it was perpetrated by government under official sanctions. No? When you are fed with these lies, Ang sabi dyan na he was there when he was a CAFGO. Uh, he was a CHDF. My God, CHDF was abolished when Cory Aquino won because they were supplanted with a yung civilian home defense for CHDF. They were supplanted with CAFGO. So yung sinasabi ni, 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 ni witness ni Dilema, I was not even, I was a fiscal at the time and a vice mayor. Ang, ang sabi ko, masasaktan lang ang anak mo. Let's sabihin niya si Paulo, yung vice mayor ngayon, na abusado, you know, that he was the guard of Paulo from grade 1 to, and he was fourth year sa Ateneo. Paulo never studied in Ateneo because the Philippine women is just about one block away, two blocks away from Macau. Walang sa mga anak ko, unang lahat yan sila nung ano na, San Beda lahat yan, including the youngest. Inday. Walang nag-security kasi Inday ayaw yan. Ayos yan sinusundan. Ewan ko ba, hanggang ngayon, nag sila ng PSJ kasi ayaw niya. Simply ayaw niyang gandyan mo siya. Yung youngest, I insisted because maraming karibal, mga artista pa ang girlfriends. Well, I saw the girl, she was there. Beautiful. Yung... So I'd like to correct Basia Abbott ito. My son has two children of different mothers. Now if you ask me, sa nanay ako loyal. Sa mga nanay ako kasi I'm just a matter of beauty. It is be beholder. What is beauty? Beauty is like Doris Begonia. <laughs> She's not really, I mean, we are, we are talking about cosmetics. And, but beauty deep in the heart, you know, it comes. Yan ang beauty. That's the beauty of a person is when you deal with your fellow men fairly, squarely, and give everyone his due. Ngayon, ito si Dilema wants me investigated. She's diverting the issue. E puro kalukuhan ng, maniwala ka ng bato-bato. Mga mga guys, imagine na uh, CSDF, and CSDF na wala katagal na noon. It was Cory's time, do you remember? With the new constitution, it was ratified after one year. The, maybe you have forgotten it. May limang komisyon. Nagawa sila ng constitution, and right after, Cory implemented that, including the elections na of local governments. So, ang gusto ko ganito, investigate me, but let us follow the Philippine jurisdictional requirements. Alam mo, pumunta si Alston, I have been investigated by Philip Alston. No. Pagkatapos, we talk. There was no result. And for all the time that I was investigated by the human rights, 
and the rapporteur, nothing came out of it. Then a secretary of justice here, and if you have noticed, she kept on hammering at me. And I said, if you have a good case, if the goods are there with you, file a case. Kasi nandiyan nanda yung witness niya si Matubato. Go, go ahead. Wala siyang ginawa. Now, nandito na siya, naipit na siya. And I said, I do not ordinarily in here. But ito si Dilema, she screwed her driver and screwed the nation. Na naipit niya, gusto niya akong idamay. Makukulong man talaga yan siya. Sigurado yan, because of the testimonial evidence. Makukulong ito when everybody says, five or six would say that they contributed money. So, on a national scale, and even on, who brought in the narco politics, it is here already. You elected a senator, kayong mga Pilipino, na, who was into narco politics, who was being financed from the inside. Huwag na sana yung sa labas. From the convicts inside the prison financing this candidacy of a senator and winning. What do you call that? Now, the reason why I am objecting to an election sa mga barangay, iko because that, that is already narco politics. They have the money and they can always win the elections on the barangay level. Pera pera lang dyan. Maliit na lugar lang yan. And itong malalaki, the congressman, and uh, no senator, but congressman and judges, I have this, uh, it was at the, pinakita ko sa inyo yun. But sabi ko, I am still validating. Kasi mayroon doon, pag binasa ko sa isang, sa police, i-compare ko sa military, I could not find the connection. And from the intelligence, sa NICA, Okay, check nito. Pag ginanon ko, as a lawyer, hindi ko makonect. There's a, no, 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 a iota of uh, in, in this report. E, kailangan mo ng, you know, when you, when you go in public and mention the name of a person because he's involved in drugs, you practically destroy his life forever. That's the reason why, bakit hanong katagal? Hindi ako kasi pariyo sa inyo, hangal na pag may, may report lang dyan, bira ng bira. No. Even without God, the eternal equation of universal justice will cut you up. Yan ang mahirap yan. Sabi niya, kasi ang impose ganito ito, we will do it in our jurisdiction. We will have sanctions. Because what can I do? What is the remedy available to me? Kung nagsinungaling ka. From my experience, kunin nila yung Human Rights Watch. Nung report sa Dabao, tapos yung report dito, nung presidente na ako, and he will ask me question. Then after that, he will make a report to his commission, then go, it goes to the uh, assembly. Then it is deliberated. Anong participation yun? Ang kukunin niya na report would be all garbage coming from Dilima. Kikong may kaso pa talaga, si Dilima na mismo ang gumanon sa akin. Now she's passing that responsibility to another forum. And because of the generated, uh, alam mo na, the prostitution of journalism, may contact sila, may contact doon, itong milyonarya na babae na because she's offended by what? I, I mean, I, 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 I am not the mayor 
who will please uh, a world body? What would be my remedy? Kung yat ng garbage na yun, yun andali ng reporter doon, I cannot ask question. Kaya ang proposal ko, let us, let us have an open investigation. Diyan, kayong lahat, sumali na kayo. That will be the time that maybe you can ask questions. And I will answer. Then, isahin ko kayo paupuin dyan, tatanungin ko sa iyo. What was this your source? Why do you say extrajudicial killing? Was he connected with government? Was there any order? Have you heard it? When was the killing? Where was it done? And you say, 1,000 killing? Tell me, who was the fifth victim? What was his name? Basi si Delima. At pressure on there. Matali lang mo yan. You are a senator? Yes. When you were Secretary of Justice, you admit that you went to the Kubol? You admit that? Yes. Is that the normal work of a Secretary of Justice? Why would you have an asset just as J.B. Sebastian? Do you not trust the NBI, the military men, to have your own asset? What was, an, what was that asset? Was it a sexual asset or a source of information? And why you have to do it at four hours? In the meeting after, yan, yan ang tanong ko. You study for four hours, what did you do? Discuss the drug situation. And after discussing the whole of four hours? The whole of four hours? You are discussing only the drug situation inside the penitentiary. I mean, I mean, with all this garbage, you stand, you sit there, and I will ask you this. for four hours. I'd like to show to you a video. There is a portrait of the couple fucking, having sexual intercourse. Who is the man? Of course, you are. You are you here. Who is the man portrayed there? Was it the one in the couple or the one who was driving you? You know, in the search for truth, no holds barred, Jan. It's an open country. Have you heard this guy, this police, when he shot? Bang, bang! Oh, otos ni Duterte yan. Ito ang critical ngayon. As Jack in Davao. You know, kanina pa ko nakatingin siya, just relax there and uh, take a drink. Find is it? I, I, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, hindi ako hideral. Politiko lang ako mupo. Ano nga, the general. Ganyan yan. I remember when I was in Raha Suleiman, uh, called the port of Davao. Ang commander, captain of the ship was Willy Wong, Navy. Navy, masiguro ito siya. Tapos yung prrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Yun ang... Hindi ko kasi pwede na sabihin, I will just allow garbage to be received, then brought to the UN, tapos atakihin ako ng ganon. Magkabastusan talaga tayo. Ha, sinabi mo. Kasi garbage yun eh. Hindi na tingnan, ko na't even check kung sino yung... When I was governor, wala kaming security. I mean, I was mayor. Why? Because when my father was governor, he never allowed it for us. Here is 56 to 57. My father was the governor of Dabao City. It was only one. He would not even allow us to sit in his car, even if it is packed. Natapos na lang siya sa Asia. I never rode. We were never allowed to ride in a government property. Yan ang tinatawag delikadesa. Wala akong inasahin. No? Except for a few, yung bombing noon sa airport. Kasi nga may nangmatay, tapos yan, you know, retaliation. That's the one that happened in Davao. I knew that it was going to explode. But I have to do my job. The Abu Sayyaf were decapitating people like just, they were just fowls and pigs and goats. And there will be no talks. Tama ang arm forces and rejecting a, a, a amnesty for. I will not, I will never. There will never be an amnesty for so much. So everybody who will testify, they can call the rapporteur, can call anybody from the defense secretary down to lahat, pati yung PNP. Walang gagong magpatay binabalot pa. Government, my government is not into business of making mamis. Nang balutin mo ng plastic parang mami, why do you have to do that? You really want to kill the idiot? You just simply kill him with one bullet in the head. Yun yung mga torture. They forgot itong Itong, you, itong kayong mga, is there any United Nations there, dito sa international press? Nakalimutan ninyo na there was an organization, a criminal syndicate, plenty, marami, kanya-kanya, before I came in. You know very well na ang mga involved, mga police, pati mga general, alam ninyo na kung magsalita yung pag at mag mo isang crowd and they will testify, they will go down to hell. Did you ever think for a moment that these guys are criminals and you want us now pictured as one? Meron. They are legitimate. At saka ganito, ang bunga nga ko is all that matters really. In Davao City, I said, to all criminals, go out of my city because if you don't, I will kill you. If you destroy this city, which is making good already, business is now in blossoms, then you fuck it, then we go down again. Kaya sinabi ko, umalis kayo. Totoo yan. Dito pagka presidente sabi ko, do not end the campaign, you were there. Doris, lahat ng kampanya na doon kayo. Publish it. Get the tapes and announce it. Huwag ninyong sirain ang bayan ko kasi papatayin ko talaga kayo. Huwag ninyong sirain ang mga anak namin. Do not destroy this generation because I will kill you. Because if I don't enter dick now, harshly, I would have compromised the next generation. Anak ninyo, pati mga apoy. 
because narco politics is here already. Ang isip na ka, you know, men judge best when they condemn. Basta lang siya may patay, pag walang suspe ka, extrajudicial killing. Ganyan ang nangyari sa Dabao. Anak ka na. Now, tell me. Ito si Dilima. Pati yung raportor. Ito yung iyo. Is there something wrong when you threaten criminals? Ito nga. Is there a provision in the penal code of the Philippines, the revised penal code, which says that it would be a criminal for a mayor or a president to threaten criminals. Yan ang mahirap eh. Pagbasa ng ganun, may nabasa ako noon sa iyo that he has been heard uh, threatening criminals with that if he wins. Kaya sabi ko stupid, sabi ko fool eh. Why? Meron kayong ditong representative. Ask him first before you insult the president. Kasi hindi ako. I am I. But I am not the Republic of the Philippines. Pagka tinitira mo ako, hinihiya mo yan. Bakit hindi mo tanongin? Could you just a lawyer there and find out if there is really a criminal thing when a mayor, a president? Bakit sila? Ang Amerika and Britain. They warned Iraq. I don't know what was that warning. But they went inside Iraq on a pretext, excuse, reason that there were weapons of mass destruction only to find out that there was none and yet they destroyed the nation. Pakahipokrito na itong kangkura. Itong iyo. At first, you had the pretension of uh, the sentiments of a civilized society, civil, civilization. Binuksan ninyo yung boundary. Ngayon nakita kayo, hirap na kayo. Eh, lalaki naman ng lupa ninyo. Sinirahan ninyo bigla. So, yung inabutan sa sentimento ninyo before your... Let me find the word. Before your nightmare... Pasok kayo ng paso and egging everybody, criticizing every nation there that refused to allow the entry. Nung napuno na sila, anak ng sinirahan ngayon, sirado na, and some of them are drowning now, and some of them are out, and winter is coming, and they will suffer. So was the human right. Australia, Mayong Rohingya, the stateless person, or tribe in Myanmar, Burma. So they traveled to Indonesia. Ton, anong ginawa? Nakuha ng barko, tinulak ulit doon sa dam. God, here I am killing the criminals, assuming it to be true. You guys, what the hell? Happen to your values in life. Puro mo kayo kristyano sa dyan. Itong mga writers dito, they keep on hammering na takutin before that he ka, Obama will ask him, say he must be prepared. Put. Ako? Bakit ako mag-prepare? Who are you? In the context of things, ang tawag mo kayo, who are you? Why are you asking me? What about you killing the black people every day? Pinabaril ng don't be such a hypocrite. Bakit ako? Bakit hanggang ngayon kayo na tumagal sa Amerika? Wag tayo magbulan. What is the treatment there of foreigners? Or if you are not white, sige na. Kayo nag-aral sa Amerika, galing sa Amerika. Tell me straight, walang bulahan. How are you treated there in America if you are not white? So, sabi ko nga, 
people judge best, especially when they condemn. Ganon ang Amerika. Sige sa turo sa akin, de Chagan Duterte ka, pati siya, hindi niya ang kinakain niya. Tapos matakot lang ako sa mga na, why, ang ina talaga ng Pilipino. Pasaya mo yung mga kolumnista. They are more concerned of the feelings of Obana than of me. Sa bagay, hindi mo kayo bumuto sa akin, hindi okay lang. Ganito yan eh. Winner takes all dito eh. Kaya nga, in elections here, it is 50 plus 1. If there are 100 million voters, I only get 50 million. And 1, 50 million plus 1 million, I get it. The 49 can suffer whatever is your predilection of pain. Mabuti ito kita. Talagang inaabangan ko kayo. <laughs> Sabi ko sa uh, preparer yung bards dyan sa <laughs> hindi ko alam kung saan ko kayo ihulog. <laughs> yung mga ganon. They cannot take that kind of job. I always do that. Tangunin mo taga-dabaw. Tanongin mo ang taga-dabaw kasi I started, I mean, I mean, I start with a joke and would end a joke. Ganon ako. Kaya yung ginagawa ko kay Doris. Ha? Itong ping alin nyo sa radyo ng bayan. Yan, gusto ko na rin ngayon nakikita. Matagal ko nang hinahanap yan. Buti nakita tayo dito ngayon. Ganon ako. Baski sila. Nung tumagal na, nasanay na sila. Kasabi ko, I have to end. Ladies and gentlemen of the Republic of the Philippines, our problem now is not my mouth. It's drugs numbering about 3 million plus the new surrenders of 7 million. You cannot help it by just listening to my epithets, my slurs, and my curses. They are nothing. They are but manifestation of the anger inside me. And people who would want to mess up with our life, matagal na tayong independence sa Amerika. Huwag nila akong takutin ng extrajudicial killing. Or else, I will also demand that the United States of America and EU be investigated alongside with me. Because they have committed far more injustice and have done horrific things. Ano ba naman? Criminals? They are attributing it to us. And even if there was already killings, Look at your statistics. Look at the statistics before I assume office. Tignan ninyo mabuti. Then that would make you a good journalist because you are fair, factual. Bilangin mo. Bilangin mo. And if there were no killings, this is official. I will resign tonight. Come back here. I'll give you my resignation. Hindi ako hangal itong presidente, presidente. Ayaw ko nga. Truth to tell, ayaw ko. Hindi ako ano ito sabi ko. I'm staking my life, my honor, and the presidency. Yan. To all of you, EU, Obama, United States. Pinoposta ko, buhay ko, honor ko, pati itong pagka-presidente. Wala akong ilusyon na dito. As a matter of fact, well, of course, were it not for were it not for my love of country, alam mo bakit? Deep down, deep down, I knew na ako lang makasulbat nito. 
crime and criminality. So, maybe ten years fiscal, nine years as it trial fiscal. Di ako nagyayabang, but if you really want a trial, if you want a show, a razzle dazzle, then let us go to court. Let me ask you the question. Simple lang yan. Sabihin ko lang sa kanya, Miss Delima, I, I, I'm kind of a, a blurred, a vague uh, memory of your of your persona. Like to, no holds barred yan. Sabi, objection. Oh, you should be objection. I'm establishing the character of you. Is this you? Pumping? So the next question will be drug. Eh, hinihiya mo ako, di ba kahiyaan tayo? Gusto ko, everybody should be placed under oath. So that if in the end I can establish that you are lying, I can proceed against you for a vindication. Kung makinig ka lang, mag-notes lang kayo, tapos kunin yung garbage ni Dilima, that's bullshit. I'm willing, any and all questions I will answer. Padala mo na yung mga iyo na bright, mga bobo ito, mga putang ina ito, maliwala. But do you think they're really brighter than us? O come here. Ito ito, believe ka dyan sa mga utor-utor na yan. Ako, utol lang sa kulukuhan, pero okay man. It has done me. Uh, Rocky, you have something to say? You're about to up any a yes, question. Yes, Mr. President, please. Sir. <laughs> Nalo, ito si Rocky. Nakilala ito panahon ni Ramos. He's been around. We were on stage. Kung magtanong itong kagaya ninyo, walang siguro taga probinsya eh saksang tayo na yung mikropon na siguro you're just thinking about it, a billion germs dyan ganoon mo yan may mahangin o sa stage kami di yung lahat ng galing tuputang doot sa iyo tinula ko siguro ano ka ba bakit mo ako sabi niya toxic ka Ligawan ko nga. <laughs> Tuksik ka. Tuksik ka. Ligawan ko. Ikaw na magsabi sa kanila kung ano nangyari. Thank you, Mr. President. Wala na. Ano na. Ramos is time. Natotoo kasi. Marami mang sa states kayo. Marami namang uh, presidential guard. Oh, kita mag itulak ro. Ku ano ka man? Sa bakit ano? Magtatanong lang. Oh, pero yung sabi ko yung kagaw niyan, kagaw is germs. Anong kagaw ko? Basta kagaw. Hindi maawa kagad ko anong hindi mag-translate kagad yung Tagalog. Ku kagaw germs. Galit sabi niya toxic ka. Sabi ko, maganda ka. <laughs> Ligawan ko nga, da. Di, sabi nga, publiko. Totoo man, wala yan naman sa asawa niya, no? <laughs> Together again. <laughs> de, de, de. Good boy na. Ano yung asawa ko dyan, kabila na ko. Good boy ako. I even want my little girl to study. Yan lang. Ha? Problema, ayaw. Lungkot? Lungkot. So, even iba ni ito last ako, no? What, five, three minutes? Even iba ni wants you to run for the presidency. You want a good answer? Iwasan. Personally, as a person, sp spiritually, yes. Because we do, you do something for the country. 
But if you want a uh, life, uh, mayor ang maganda. Saan si mayor? Manila. Dito sa Manila. Nandito ba si mayor? Wala. Lumipad na doon. Uh, dito. After this, I have, I have to meet uh, President Strada. Then I have to meet the Tiamson and the communists. They're having dinner tonight here. Oh, pinagbibigyan ko. Okay na ba yung last one natin dyan? <laughs> I, we, I, we, they will break bread with me. Sila lahat, mga komunista. Uh, they're going to... Look, itong ano, kayong mga military. Minsan kasi sila, nag, I've heard that there are rumblings about Kasi natural enemy. Marami rin patay military. And I told them, but you know guys, uh, I am a president. I am your commander-in-chief. Yes. That's a title for war. Unfortunately, I am not a wartime president. My, my main job, my main task is really to seek peace for my land. That's why inuna ko na yan sila. Even before I assumed office, nagkaintindihan na kami mag-usap. Then I went to Murad. Sabi niya, without the BBL, the BBWAR, sabi ko, wag, mag-usap na lang tayo. Hindi, Noor. Problem is, Noor, murang hinihigop niya yung uh, isali na niya yung Abu Sayyaf, which I would like to tell the nation now. No. no. I will not talk peace with Masyado ang, every time you do that, it's like slapping the nation. Hinihiya mo kami. And you did it even during my time. And the last time I was just a child. Hindi naman milyonaryo yung... It's not, it's not even odious. I can describe ito. despicable. It's really a despicable ideology. So, I will submit to any investigation, provided. Why? I will ask them. It's provided in the Constitution. And if they come here, I have the laws, the penal laws, and the Constitution. And I will just tell them. Find something here that is wrong where you can be charged. Because if it is not a criminal offense, then any other country cannot term it or cannot categorize it as a crime. I am a citizen of this republic. The crimes and felonies are in our books. If it does not say anything about my criminal liability, you cannot Kung sa inyo, conspiracy, whatever, inyo yan. Before international law, there is the Constitution, which is the bedrock. Kaya tayo, iba-iba ang salita natin. Hindi naman tayo magkapatid, putahe, lahat, even the idiosyncrasies. Yung iba, moro, yung iba, igorot. We do not talk. But we are bound by this one. You disregard the flag, the Constitution, there will be trouble. Yan, sabihin ko. Find me a fault there, if there is. Because you have to begin with the criminal laws of my land. Tsaka yun yung inyo. Well, source for the gun there is source for the goose. Kung lahat ng countries takot sa inyo, mga putang ina kayo, ay hindi ako takot sa inyo. You want me to answer, you answer also. We're on the same boat. Bakit kayo, who are you to threaten me? Nasabihin nila more uh, the uh, standard and more of uh, the, gra the grade uh, lowered us to a BBB borrowing uh, potential then. I have talked to Xi Jinping. I'm going to China. 
I will open up all avenues of trade and commerce. They can come in. And I wala pang panahon because I could not amend the Constitution right now. Then I can give them 60 years plus another 60 years. By that time, you won't need your factory here already. Bagi ako 60 years, renewable for 60 years. Eh, bakit pa sila magbili ng lupa? Para na lang binili ng lupa. By that time, yung gonggong na presidente siguro, no, ipagbili niya ng lupa. Ayaw ko. Ayaw ko. It's not a matter of opening opportunities. It is not really a matter of to hinder uh, investment. It's, it's a matter of principle for me. That my land should only be for my I've been, I've been talking with uh, Prime Minister Medivib. One-on-one, -on -one, mga Kamilon. Wala na kaalam noon. And I said, uh, oh, nag-one-on-one. -on -one. Matagal kami, sabi ko na I think I have, uh, I'm about to cross the Rubicon between me and the United States. At least for the six years. I would need your help and everything, trade, commerce, and I will open up. Kaya lahat kayo yung pa, lago, lago ako dyan sa communications, even dito sa, I'm surprised because, alam mo, pinuto nila yung shipping Davao, Manila. Alam mo, ang mga taga-probinsya, pag nagpunta yan ng Manila, may mga relatives dito o mga anak nila nag-aral, Nagdadala talaga yan. Itlog, manok, pagkain. Eh ngayon, limitado lang sila isang upuan. Tapos may mga ano pa dyan na pinapalagad even if they suffer from disabilities. Kung ganun kayo, ano, not in my time. I'm calling all the airlines. That's your obligation. It is not really, na magbayad ka pa ng wheelchair. Because when you open to the public and sell tickets, walang sinasabi niya kung ikaw ay walang paa o walang ulo o maakyat sa aeroplano, magbayad ka pa. Wala. You provide everything or public convenience. Kailangan. You behave, I have six years to go. I'm only there for about three months plus. Magkaka, you will be sad. I will see to it that you will be sad. You go bankrupt, I do not care. I'm going to invite China and Russia to put up in your airliner. You, you observe not even respect. You observe not even courtesies. Lahat kayong malalaking negosyo, especially serving the public. Observe humanity. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Mr. President. May we...